Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, let me appreciate the Senate, uh, the CS for finance. And I've uh, just noted that he's lost a lot of weight. I'm offering to give him a goat so he can gain it a little bit. But uh, I thank him for coming and to responding to this matter. Uh, Senator Sifuna has asked a very important question. I sit in the, uh, I used to sit in the Public Accounts Committee, and this issue came up for discussion when the Auditor General had raised the concern that the government may not have full control of the e-citizen platform. I've listened to the response given by the Cabinet Secretary, and I want some further clarification on a few issues. Number one, does the government have control of this e-citizen platform? The Cabinet Secretary has also alluded to the fact that the 50 shilling is paid to, and I believe it is paid to the creator of e-citizen. I think his name is James Ayugi, who is the CEO of Webmaster. This amount of 50 shillings that you've now sort of like scaled it based on the amount of uh, money which is being paid to the government, is this system going to be leased forever or was it developed in a BOT kind of method where after some time it is transferred to the government? Because if this e-citizen uh, e platform is managed by the ICT authority, but it is being leased from Webmaster, at what point is the government of Kenya going to have full control of this e-citizen? And finally, still on that, uh, on that question... Honorable Olakena, the same no, question. you are only entitled to one supplementary question. It is one question, but with different uh, elements. No, no, no. No, no, no. ABC. No, no, no. You've asked, you've already done two questions. Leave it at that. Mr. Speaker, with, uh, uh, please, I, uh, this is a very important element of that question. I know I, every and, question and, being asked is and, and, very important. And tomorrow or next Wednesday, I'll restrict myself to just one area. I'll, I'll organize my thoughts properly. So allow me to just add this D to complete it, Mr. Speaker. Conclude. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Now you've made me lose my thoughts. Now, let me try and see what I can remember. This system, was it developed on a BOT model or was it developed to be leased entirely in perpetuity? Because then it, it begs the question as to why the government will then sit down and adjust the figures of the 50 shillings. And how much have we paid? Have we audited this webmaster to know how much money they take on, a nearly, on an annual basis? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Bonnie. 